So we're here with Nick. We were just with Conrad, yep. talking over the new commercial ZTR. And I wanted to know how we could efficiently power that beast. He told me to come and talk to you. What can you tell us? Thank you for being Thanks with Thanks for coming by, Vince. We Appreciate can it. show you right along in okay. here. What do you think one of the biggest pain points customers experience when they start to think about recharging a lot of batteries? They're buying a lot of chargers, and what do they do with those chargers? They have to plug them in somewhere. And what do you think the number one pain point is when they try to plug a lot of chargers in? Probably blowing circuits or, or not having enough outlets. You got it, Vince. That's the number one frustration is that people will assume, well, if I've got a lot of batteries, I need a lot of chargers, and then they're blowing circuits, right? They're tripping breakers. So. The ecosystem um, is designed to solve for that one pain point as well as others. Introducing the new Ego commercial PGX charging system. It, all it takes is one standard outlet. You do not need to spend extra money for an electrical upgrade. You don't have to hire a union electrician to come in and do extra work. Um, you can utilize your existing infrastructure and keep it very simple and basic. The way it works is everything centers around the PGX power hub. This is the brains of the operation. This is what connects you to the entire Ego commercial line of products through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. We have what we call the PGX 3-port dock, which once it's connected to the power hub, it'll, it'll charge three batteries all at the same time. If you're a large landscaper and you've got the need to charge a lot of batteries uh, at a time, the beauty of our system is it's fully scalable. Okay. You can expand this out as much as you need to accommodate your needs. Okay. The only limitation you have is time. So if, if uh, in between work days, you've got, say for example, a 12 hour overnight period, okay. the system will charge up to a certain amount of, whether it's battery number of batteries or total watt hours of energy, which is how we like to talk about it, because watt hours is, is energy required to do work. Okay. So if it's number of batteries, the system, uh, when you connect the docks in series, will let you charge up to 70 batteries overnight, okay? So, whether it's 70 batteries or up to 15 kilowatt hours of energy. I got you. So either or, the system is able to do that. So I have two questions, because my mind's kind of blown here. I could put as many of these ports as I'd like, as without, like there's no limit at all. There's no limit. Uh, all it means is the more you connect, the longer it's gonna take to charge. Okay, are, are you telling me we're able to charge? Like, I don't need to have a special 220, 240 line. No three phase. 15 amp circuit is all you need. Not even a 20 amp circuit. Don't even need to upgrade. Uh, that's pretty, all right. Don't even need to upgrade. That's pretty awesome. All right, so three batteries charge at a time. When one bank is done, you move on to the next three and it charges in, in series like that. We've gotten to a point now where, you know, theft is not exactly one of the one of the biggest issues that, that most users will talk about when they're operating off of gas. Um, but it does become an issue. an issue when you start to think about the the cost of replacing batteries. So even though you can never prevent theft 100% of the time, what we have enabled is when you have these properly mounted to the wall, right. every one of these banks does have a locking mechanism that you can enable through a standard padlock. Yeah. It's this one additional level of protection that you won't find with you, other, other you solutions. You literally pull this out and you're saying I can't, well I can't. You well, can't. he's saying that, but I can't. You know, oftentimes, this uh, trailers will come outfitted with this E-Track rail system, both on the walls as well as on the floor. Yeah. And so, when you think about proper spacing, proper access of batteries, chargers, and everything else, it was important for us to consider that landscapers may have this to work around. So how do we, instead of making them work around it, work with it? So what we also have compatible with all of our charging docks is an accessory kit that quite literally lets you adapt to the E-Track rail system. So once the accessories are, are installed, you can wow. unhook and you get that? move your system around. Because if you think about it, for a landscaper being the first to upfit his trailer with this kind of equipment, there's gonna be a lot of, well, try this out, move this around, and without having to constantly undo screws. Oh, I appreciate things. that because this means uh, I can appreciate it because I had to build custom cleats. I, you know, you don't have to do that. Boom, you have a system that's already there. It will work. It's already I love there. That. And of course, the part that you can't see is everything that ties back to uh, the connectivity piece. You know, imagine a day where you've got this system installed in your trailer, at your work site, what have you. Let's say you want to understand um, before the, the, the next workday, hey, is my system charged in full? 
or what if there was a power outage? You know, the, the, the system will have the ability to send you a notification in case yeah. there's a power outage. So this will connect to an app that can tell me if you could be charging somewhere remotely. This is your brains right here. It's your connectivity, it's it's the brains, it's the it's the central point of the entire system. So this will, and it will connect to an app for my smartphone. Yes. It will tell me my, my, my state of charge. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yep. All right, that's awesome. Yep. Oh, it's, it's like think little of, things to make people more productive. You think about it as a landscaper, especially as you scale up your system, you're dealing with a lot more batteries, unlike a standard charger where you can sit there and watch the blinky lights. That's only as good as you're there in front of the charger. Sure. But if, if you're at home and your charging system is in your trailer and you want to be able to monitor that remotely, that's a, that's a huge plus. How do you think guys are charging batteries in the field? I would think that they're either doing it... Um, I don't know, a generator or something? I have no idea. It's one one solution. You could use a generator. I mean, there are inverters and stuff. I mean, yeah. Sometimes you might, uh, you know, if you got a few good customers, you might ask them to borrow their borrow their outlet, right? I've done that. Well, say like during leaf blowing season, or you might have a battery that runs out prematurely, um, and you're out out and about working. That's where the uh, the Ego PGX power bank comes in. What this what this unit does is it's fully connectable to the PGX system. And what you see here is this is the power bank itself. Okay. We've got our high capacity 40 amp hour battery here on bottom. This is what enables now your ability on the go to recharge your Ego Power Plus batteries without being connected to power. So with this is the same battery that's going to power the new commercials ETR mower. You got it. All right. Wow. Okay. So now I have another use for the battery. Exactly. So we're right now, right? We're going to charge this battery using the commercial charger that's on the wall. I see, right? We plug this in. Yep. So we're 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 charging this battery. We then can use this to power the mower, or we can take this whole rack on the job with us, put it on a trailer, or anything in the or leave it in here because we're in a trailer to charge more of these batteries for smaller handheld equipment. You got it, you got so it. So there's no special charger required for this. It's all part of the one ecosystem. It's all part of the system. This all makes sense, it does. But let's just say somebody's on a budget. Mm -hmm. What if they wanted to buy the mower, right? It comes kitted with some of these batteries. Sure. Uh, is, there, is there an opportunity for them to just buy this rack system to charge these batteries without buying the commercial wall charger? I guess my question is, do I necessarily, can I buy this independent of that? I see what you're saying. Yes. Okay, let's let's consider this scenario. Okay. You buy into that mower. Yes. When you buy into that mower, you know, the, the starting kit, you're gonna get two of these, two of these batteries, so okay. you got four kilowatt hours of energy. Let's say now you wanna leverage those batteries because maybe you're not using the four, the full four kilowatts during the day, and you say, you know what? I'd like to do something else with one of these batteries. Can you then take one of those batteries out, buy this, do this so you can charge these yes. and not need that? And the answer is yes. I think that people, if you can show them a better way that doesn't kill them in their pocketbook and, and you say, listen, you have options, they're going to adopt it. And yeah. to hear that Ego is really taking that into consideration, I think it's going to mean a lot to, to the end user. There's a scalability story to what we're doing with the riders in yeah. terms of you want to mow longer, you just add more capacity. There's a scalability component to the charging system. You want to charge more batteries, just add more docks. Yeah. We don't want people to have to worry about being overly burdened by the what, what we see in the rest of the market as significantly high entry entry costs into into a system, right? Yeah. You can you can spend upwards of a hundred thousand dollars for upfitted trailers before you even get to the equipment side. So the, the system that we've got really lets you step in and scale, whether it's on the battery side, whether it's on the charging side, to accommodate virtually any any end user and any any end user scenario. You know what it means a lot to me? It means a lot to me because I was I am that person. I've started businesses on a shoestring and made them work. But if I never had the opportunity to start the business because the price of entry was exorbitant. Yep. Thank you so much, Nick. Right on. Appreciate it. All right, yeah, anytime. And if you like when Nick answers all your questions, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. It doesn't cost you a dime. Plus, you get seven years of good luck. It's the right thing to do. Do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to see you all on the next one. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Bro. All right. I appreciate it. You got it, guys. Anytime.